much exhausted. It's 11, but I'm cleaning because I'm taking the opportunity to get this house clean, minus the floors, because at 11.30, I'm taking my boy's friend back home, and then when we get back, I'm gonna have the boys pick up all the Nerf bullets that are all over the house, the games, clean their rooms because their beds are a disaster, and take hot showers because they've been playing in the cold rain and camped out last night, and they only slept three hours. They've been up since 12.40, I'm told. And <laughs> they came into the house around 5.30 and woke me up. And so been... as it turns out, I wanted to clean today and do the floors. And so it provides me with a lot of time to clean while they're busy playing. And my mom had made plans to take my boys to lunch today. So after I take their friend home and come home and get them to do their chores and get showered and warm, they're gonna go to lunch with my mom. And while they're out, I'm going to vacuum and mop. It's raining, it's been raining for hours. The children have been wet and cold and I am trying to hold it together because that is like against everything I believe in. I'm like, stay dry, stay warm. You can't be out in the rain, especially if it's cold. If it's hot, fine, but it's like 40s, okay? But it's okay. They're men growing into men and this is exciting, amazing memories for them. It makes them build their character and their grit and all of that is good, important stuff. And they're with friends. So all the thinking of you know, mom doesn't like us to get wet is not really in their minds right now. They're playing Nerf, Airsoft, Splat Guns, camping. They made soup last night over the fire. That was their dinner. They had cabbage, beans, corn, and something else, broth. And that was their dinner. And they had some snacks and they did not come back to the house. They just, they left at 6.30 and immediately set up camp. They had hammocks, campfire, dinner, they went to bed around 8.30, they said, before nine, and then they woke up at 12.40 and could not go back to sleep. So they talked until like 4.30 and then they came to the house. Yeah, so it's been quite a morning. They keep looking at the time and they can't believe it's only 11. They're like, it feels like three in the afternoon. So I am tired, but I'm pushing through because I really want to get the house clean. I love getting the house clean before the weekend, so I feel like that's done and behind me and I'm off for the weekend and I could do all the fun things I love like the gardening and working outside as a family all that good stuff um also we have home church here on Sunday so it's nice to get the house in order um for that and that way all I have to worry about is cooking for Sunday so it's a nice um routine I'm in and I mean I feel like I've always tried to clean the house before the weekend so my plan is in the next 40 minutes to take friend home, come back, get the kids warm and clean and tidy and let them go with my mom while they're gone, clean the floors, vacuum, mop, and maybe exercise if I'm not exhausted. Then tonight we have a date. So I don't have to cook lunch or dinner tonight, which is really freeing and nice. Um, and my kids are definitely going to bed early tonight, yeah. So anyway, just wanted to catch you up on what's going on here and I'm gonna keep on cleaning. Eleven thirty-five. I'm taking friend home. I was instructed to leave the Monopoly game out, but my house is clean, clean, mopped, vacuumed. You better keep it clean, baby. Everything is so beautiful and clean. So my boys are out to lunch. They'll play that when they get back, supposedly. I think they're gonna pass out and everything is completely in order. What a good feeling. It's 1.30, I cannot believe that. I'm going to eat something because I'm starving. Going on a date for another four and a half hours. So I'm gonna eat and then I'm going to work out 
and take a shower and get ready for my date. Totally forgot to film my makeup routine. Sorry, you guys. So, this awesome foundation. It's so beautiful. The concealer that I talked about. Um, not, the cream blush. The tubing mascara. The air brow. And my favorite palette, nudes, just one color. And I think that's it. Elf lip stain, so. I failed to show you a sweater that I love, and I'm so happy that it's cold again on date night because I can wear it again. I'm not gonna wear the one I showed you um, with the pretty little ruffle sleeves until, well, maybe I can wear it tonight. I'm gonna try them both on, but I cannot believe I forgot to show you this sweater. I've only worn it once and I love it. It's so, it's beautiful. I have to go look in the mirror. I'm not 100% sure that I wanna wear this. It's really cute. Hmm. Maybe I do. Decisions, decisions. This one's really cute too. Thanks for coming with me today. Time. God bless you and see you guys next time.